So there's a quick aside for what I've uh, done in my little bits of work in the past uh, little time. I've actually started a new map here um, to create a much bigger worldscape uh, with the Hi, welcome to the next video. Uh, in this one, I just wanted to have a quick update as to um, something that I felt was kind of cool with what I've been doing. Um, so I've started making a new map, which is uh, a lot larger scale than the previous test one that I'm using. And the purpose for that is that I'm going to start uh, testing out some of the spawning uh, over the network for the dungeons and also the fauna um, AI that I've built. So starting off, I've actually set up a um, world manager script, which essentially will handle the world state um, for everything that's going on. So it will influence the quest thing, but it will also handle the spawning of um, settlements for NPCs and um, also the dungeons that will spawn uh, more often than the, the NPCs. But essentially at the start of the server, um, it will realize that there's no settlements or dungeons spawned and it will actually spawn a set of settlements um, that are NPC controlled uh, in order to give the players something to start with um, prior to actually achieving the uh, ability to create a settlement uh, from themselves. Um, don't worry too much about that. Uh, the dungeons are also going to spawn in there. Um, as you can see, I'm just doing some basic tests now. I've got a list here, which is um, the different types of settlements and dungeons that can spawn. At the moment, I've just got little cubes that represent um, each one of those uh, and just to test out the spawning function. So what happens now if I hit play? Uh, so yeah, as you can see here, it's just got these things. Nothing is happening at the moment, um, but if I click server, should see it'll tick over and now we've actually got in our current settlements um whoops i've actually added it to the settlement list there somehow current dungeons list is empty so i've accidentally added that to the settlement things i'll just fix that up in code a little bit later but if we click on these now we can actually see over here under the world manager we've actually spawned those different dungeons and the settlements uh, if i jump over into the scene view we can see one is here what's actually happening is that um what it's doing is it's getting all of the uh all of the terrain uh, and then just picking a random point on the nav mesh for the terrain so um, rather than have it just like you know do a unit inside sphere um, and like you know a multiplier just to give it some sort of randomness I've actually got it uh, so that it will only um, spawn on the nav mesh and from that I can actually run a check on it I haven't set up the check function um, correctly yet so it always returns true but essentially there'll be a bool where it will check a radius around the um, the object to see if it can spawn if there's like you know not already something spawned within a certain vicinity of it um, and if there is then it will um, pick a new location and do the test again until it finds somewhere um, so at the moment it's just doing that if we go to each one we can see it's spawned in a different area this one's spawned in a nice grass area so it'll be a dungeon spawning somewhere there this one's actually spawned underwater so i'd have to do a check for it to make sure that it's not underwater unless i add in an underwater feature to the game which i probably won't not uh, not initially anyway and there's another one that's spawned under the water so again it's checking on the nav mesh and the nav mesh has baked to under the water there I'll have to um, set it so that it actually can't I might even be able to actually just alter the nav mesh so I won't do it anyway that's just me talking to myself uh, so here we go here we've got another one that's spawned all the way out in this sort of barren area here um, and if we go to settlements we can see one settlement has spawned over in that section and another one here in our little forest uh, close by our dungeon I think so where's the uh, Where's that other dungeon? I should see if we pop it up in the list over there. So yeah, not too far from the dungeon. And then the last one has spawned over here, which is a bit further out. I don't know how those trees got there, but that's okay. We'll leave them there for now. All right, so if we head back into the game, um, so this all happens on the server side. None of this happens on the client side. Um, so if I click client now, you'll see nothing changes here to any of the settlements. They're all still there, but we can actually probably run over to one um, if I can make it there in time. I'll uh, probably speed up the video while I uh, run that way. Right, and here you can see we've got our little dungeon that's popped up, which is great. Um, I don't know what that blinking is. I think it's got something to do with something. Let's have a look. Is there anything actually running around here? Oh, yep. Missing reference, the object type network, you should either check if it's null or if you should destroy the object. Uh, I'll figure out what that problem is. But anyway, um, yeah, just a fun little thing, getting stuff sorted. Yay.